So, and then in the end, you can see how all of them are going to work together. So, since I to keep drum, before I always, like, before I start, I always have to outline of what I want to do. So, I don't know if, this is, this, like, looks blurry to me even when I'm here. So, we have, like, two of us little notes, two game notes, and two uh, context illustrations, which is pretty simple. So, we need to create an audio context. And then we make the oscillator node and the game nodes and define the type of oscillators we're going to use. So I will be putting these slides online so you guys can just ref like, refer to it. But I, at the moment, I'm just going to show like what I did to make exactly to make the sounds. So beyond this is where I really want to show like what I want to explain this. This is the waveform of the key drum. And you can see like it starts with a high attack and decays rapidly. So what we're gonna do is to emulate that. So we use this thing called uh, set value at time, linear RAM to value at time, exponential RAM to value at time. I just wanted to show a website. No. A blog post that my brother Tommy did on this. I know it's not really my brother. What? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, the battery sound can be synthesized using a burst of noise. 
So how do you make noise using web audio? Have to yeah, you have to use a random number generator, which I took from this uh, an article which I think which you can find online uh, on the slides. I will show you later. This is the noise generator. So what you're doing is just put, inputting random numbers into a buffer, and you can hear the noise. The <sighs> yeah. number is all about. But yeah, how do we make that sound into a stand? So this is the connection of our stand drums. <coughs> we have an oscillator node to a gain node and we have the noise to a filter because we want to remove all the low frequencies. Then we have a filter gain node, which is actually actually a gain node, so we can automate the other parameters. And we create filter node, we add and gain note, create the sound, and this is what it sounds like. Oh man, so sad, it sounds so sad. <laughs> Never mind, let's take it. Anyways, moving on, this is the last sound that I'm going to <coughs> So, thank you, uh, sound on sound, for this graph. It looks complicated, but it's not. So what it is, just six square oscillators, square wave oscillators going through a mixer. So you just combine these together, go to a filter, then this whole bunch of stuff I don't really care. <laughs> go to a high pass filter, then you get them higher. Anyways, thank you Mr. Joe Subirin. I don't know this guy, but I googled him and then he gave a really nice blog post. Uh, okay, so this is my graph. This is not what I just said. Mm -hmm. Oscillator, backpass filter, and a shooter again, not on this destination. So, this is the sound of six oscillators. <laughs> so, yes, you can see it's a different visual than if you pass the fundamental figure back to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
what is what is the sound generating part, and then the one, the one is the sequencing.